I'm particularly disappointed in myself and hey guys. For. There comes the double that frees up Brandon Ingram. And oh. Ingram celebrates the basket. Catch. Orleans Pelicans select Zion Williamson. Let's keep his body breaking down. I don't know how you play basketball. Makes his move, spins in the paint, turns, puts it up, puts it in. Getting to the rim and then have the presence. I think I was overdoing it when I was training. Cause I'm trading, he's going to Chicago. Your thoughts on this decision? Well, to David Griffin, Trajan Langdon. Swin Cash, Bryson Graham, and the entire front office. What's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. I appreciate y'all for checking with me. Right now, man, I want to tell you right now that Brandon Ingram, man, I, I, I'm here to tell you, he's got to get the hell out of New Orleans effective and immediately. I'm trying to tell you, it's just not working out. You know, um, I, I fear some catastrophic could happen, you know, because like I said, New Orleans is pushing. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's flight sports. We're going to get into it. You know we're very concerned about Brandon Ingram. Him and Lonzo Ball has been pretty much detached to the hip ever since Lonzo Ball has been drafted. You understand these two are like a, a perfect match, almost like a duo that I'm telling you, I think they could accomplish some things if they were put in the right situation. But we'll get into that another time. We're going to tell you why Lonzo Ball needs to get the hell out of New Orleans. Before we do that, pardon me, not Lonzo Ball, excuse me. I'm going to tell you why Brandon Ingram's got to get the hell out of New Orleans. Lonzo already got the hell out of New Orleans. He's seen the writing on the wall. I'm trying to tell you, before it's all said and done, everybody's going to be getting the hell out of New Orleans. And um, I'm going to get into it. Before we do, I need everybody to hit that like button. You already know if you knew, most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. Um, so... I appreciate everybody that's rocking with the channel, too. You know we bring in a lot of Brandon Ingram content. We watching Pelicans just crumble and just suffer at the wayside ever since Lonzo has left. You know, we just basking in the glory. We just want some of our mainstays up out of there before it really go down. You know, um, and let's not waste too much time with the people. Listen, we all know the shit that's going on in New Orleans is a mess. I mean, I could this could be easily a 60-part series. You know, especially if I brought in other like-minded individuals, you know, right now the Pelicans are sitting at 16 and 28. You know, they have the 13th seed in the, in the Western Conference. They're pretty much not too far away from Houston, but they, but they could swing and get up there to possibly that 10th seed. If you look at the Portland Trailblazers right now, 18 and 25. The Pelicans are 16 and 28. I see the Pelicans trying to push. You understand? I think things could be problematic. I think it, 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 it is, is a mess what they did to Brandon Ingram. They did not maximize his skill set. I feel like he's really being wasted his talent. This is easily a, a scorer who could easily be on the level of a Bradley Beal, uh, things of that nature scores. I, I think that's a good comparison for him. You know, I think they, they compare very well. But, you know, um, Brandon Ingram, like I said, he just he just stuck in a, in a tight spot. Um, I see the Pelicans, believe it or not, I think Brandon Ingram has done enough, in my opinion, for them to warrant getting a trade. I think they should get this guy a piece, you understand, so, so he could be a little bit more effective, especially when you know that Zion was going to be side sidelined for an extended period of time. I don't see how in the world New Orleans didn't think to make a trade for Brandon Ingram so he could at least have a running mate. Brandon Ingram is averaging 22 points per game. He's out, he's shooting 44% from the field. Great numbers. 34% from the three. He's putting up six rebounds, giving you five assists. The man is doing everything. Also giving you about a half a steal a game. So the guy's out there doing it all for this team. You know, um, pretty much identical stat lines as a season ago for B.I. So he's giving you his usual, you understand. But his usual is, I'm telling you, is, is, is something spectacular, you know. Um, and like I said, it's going to be telling to see what, what exactly do these guys do. do does uh, the Pelicans make a move for him or are they just going to sit back and waste this season and waste a, another year of Brandon Ingram's talent you understand and that just can't happen you know um it, it, it's just a complete mess what's going on with the pelicans but i'm here to tell you this man has been with the new orleans pelicans for i believe three seasons and has had three head coaches 
for every single year um, he was there. I'll, I'll start with that first year. These guys finished um, 30 and 42. Um, hold on. What, yeah, I believe that was yeah, that was the first year Brandon Ingram was there. They finished 30 and 42. They was in a playing situation. You understand they did make the plan. The NBA did them glory, you know, and brought them in. But like I said, it was to no avail. They had one of the worst bubbles. I think that people would like to forget about what they witnessed in that bubble, you know, because it was horrendous. You know, 30 and 42. What a, what a nasty. We're very nasty. Pardon me. Um, the Pelicans a season ago, this was Lonzo Ball's last season. They they finished 31 and 41. Another year outside of the playoff picture. You understand? So do you understand where we're headed here? You telling me Brandon Ingram has had a, and he's going on to pro arguably have one of the one of the worst years out of his tenure with the Pelicans this season. So I think it's time for B.I. to go to the front office and see what's going on. And when you start to look at that front office, that's now, now it's starting to see. Now it's starting. Now we're going to shine some lights. You know, you look at a David Griffin, you know, um, a Trajan, you know, Swin is on, in there. You know, I think they need an overhaul. You know, they need to just, just get up everybody up out of there and clean house because they are not... It's so much the Pelicans could be doing. They made some horrible moves, um, and we could start with that Lonzo move. You got Lonzo Ball there. Let me tell you something. I'm here to say it now. Let me just break the news to you. The team is not the same since Lonzo Ball's departure. It seems like the the morale, the the energy of this team is just lackluster. It's like they lost something. You know, you got guys who've been with Lonzo pretty much their whole careers. You talking about a guy B.I. who was with Lonzo minus his rookie year, his whole see his whole career. A Josh Hart, his whole career. You understand? You you took an out and then you looking at a Zion Williamson, his whole career. Lonzo got traded there in his rookie season. He was with Lonzo for a while. So when you take a, a such a good piece like that, an important piece, you're talking about the point guard position. Lonzo Ball, when you start to see um, things that's taking place in Chicago, which I think at times he does get, get the reins there, you know, at times. But I think in Pelican with the New Orleans Pelicans, you had guys like Ingram who was making sure Lonzo was going to get his and make sure he facilitated and did his thing, even though you did have some issues here and there as well. You know, um, but Lonzo seemed to be more of a better catch and shoot guy with the Pelicans. I must admit that, you know, shout out to Fred Vincent. If there's any bright spot that has come from Brandon Ingram's tenure, Lonzo Ball's tenure, Josh Hart's, the whole nine, it is obviously... My man, uh, Fred Vincent, you know, um, and also Teresa Witherspoon. I've heard she's done some f fabulous work. Shout out to her. I believe she should be a head coach in this league, you know, um, later on down the line. But like I said, it's Flight Sports TV. B, I got to get the hell out of there. I don't know how you do it. You know, I don't know what's the pathway. I don't know how the stars align, but you got to get the hell out of there. You have to. Also, Zion Williamson has completely left you for dead. You know, and we must remember this. And we're going to get to Zion shortly because Zion Williamson, he's, he's somewhere tucked hiding. And ain't nobody shining the flashlight that way. Flight Sports TV, we about to shine a couple flashlights. Pause. You understand? We're gonna, we, we need to locate Zion Williamson. We put it with Flight Sports TV tonight. We have officially put an APB out for Zion Williamson. We would like to, he needs to come to the altar as flight sports. He he hasn't took, taken the podium um, on no press conference, no press conferences, no interviews. Zion has to speak. You are the number one pick in the draft. You got Brandon Ingram playing out of his mind with the little bit of help that they have at their disposal. You telling me you can't sit your sorry ass on the bench? You understand? And I'm just saying that out of frustration as a ball player myself. Brandon Ingram is giving his heart and soul for the same franchise that you are you are associated with. Where's the support? I don't want to hear about what's going on behind the scenes. B.I. deserve more. It's Flight Sports TV. We're going to leave it at that. B.I., get the hell out of there. Get the hell out. Three coaches in three years. I'm telling you. And the way things is looking, I feel so sorry for Willie Green. It's not his fault. How can you put these coaches in front of him? You you talking about 
these three coaches. You had my man Gentry, which who I thought was all right. Gentry was all right. They 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 really pulled the trigger too soon. They should have kept Gentry. And then they go and get my man um Van Gundy. Van Gundy almost finished them. You understand the whole franchise. If they would have if they if they would have left Van Gundy in there, it would have went to shits. You understand? Um and then now they got my man Willie Green and they're doing the best he can do. You understand where basically all the shit, the crumbles that they just left him with. And he got to just try to shape shift something. It, it, it's foul what they did to Willie Green. We're going to leave it right there. B.I. get the hell out of New Orleans. Everybody hit that like button. Most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV.